Hello, and welcome back to uh, Leadership and People Management uh, and Section 11 uh, of the program, which is uh, another step along the demands of the lead route, this time looking at what comes out at number two on the list of demands, demands which is uh, learning and development. Uh, so again, we'll be asking you to work through some material uh, and then look at some learning points uh, but as a context for you, um, learning and development rising to number two is again uh, particularly significant. It really does, I think, point out the generational shift that has happened. It's some time since we started to hear phrases like continuous learning or lifelong learning. And I remember some of the sort of jaundiced responses you know, of senior management at the time of, well, you know, to achieve what? And, you know, there's quite a lot of questions about emphasizing learning, particularly when, of course, it, it, it involves a certain investment and a certain cost for an organization. And there was always the old adage, which I'm not sure is true, where, you know, the, the, the COO was basically saying, well, supposing we spend, um, you know, all of this money on learning and development for these people and they leave. Uh, and the CEO's response being, well, supposing we don't spend the money and they stay. Uh, and although that's probably not a true or exact story, you can see there's a message in there about trying to work out for an organization um, whether investment in learning and development is a worthwhile investment, and if it is, how we can get a return on that particularly now knowing that more and more of our staff, more and more of our workforce, more and more of the people who are looking to join us are looking to join an organization that's going to help them continuously learn and develop and be more skillful uh, and more knowledgeable and be more capable uh, of, of delivering to whichever organization they choose. So again, um, you know, significant in organizational terms and one in which we need to understand uh, you know and take a view in just how we'll approach this area of learning development and once you've worked through the material uh, I'll come back with one or two more specific points in terms of answering some of the questions that the material uh, raises I'll be back shortly <laughs>